Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting exponential equation. We have 2 to the x plus x equal to 8. We need to find our x. If you have your solution, your assumption, you can write your solution down into the comment below and then we will check our answer. So it will be really interesting. So first of all, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have 2 to the power x on the left side. And of course, we can write it on the right side, 8, but with the minus sign. So 8 minus x. So this is our first step. We just uh, write this x on the right side. What are we going to do next? We're going to divide both sides by 2 to the power x. Okay, let's do this right now. As a result, what do we have? We have 2 to the power x. We're going to divide by 2 to the power x equal to 8 minus x. We're going to divide by 2 to the power x as well. So we have 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x. We divide both sides by uh, 2 to the power x. Of course, on the left side, we can easily cancel all of this. We have only our 1. And on the right side, we can write this 2 to the power x in our numerator, but we need to change the sign to the um, to the negative 1 because we have x, we can need to write minus x because when you have 1 over m, for example, we can write it as m to the power minus 1 in our, uh, when we want to bring this through from our denominator to numerator, we need to change this uh, power to the negative one. So let's do this right now. And the final step, we're going to change position. Okay, so first of all, let's write this expression on the left side. So 8 minus x on the left side times 2 to the power minus x, as I said before, 2 to the power minus x, and equal to, equal to 1. So I really hope you, you understand this step. This one we're going to write on the left side, this one goes to the numerator, and one on the right side. So this is our first, first part. We just do some manipulation with, with our expression. What are we going to do next? Right now I suggest you to change this expression, uh, change 8 and x places, so we can write it as minus x plus 8. Uh, so we can write it as minus x plus 8, like for better understanding, because we're going to apply Lambert W function and it's easier for you to understand this expression in that way. So minus x plus 8 in our parentheses times 2 to the power minus x and equal to equal to 1. So it, it helps us a lot. Right now we need to know a little bit about Lambert W function. So this how does this function looks like? This function looks like that. So whenever we have expression with this structure like a times e to the power a, when we apply Lambert W function to this expression, as a result we have only our only our a. So for example we have like, uh, let's go with the 10 times e to the power 10. When we apply Lambert W function to this expression we have only our 10. So we have only our a, but we need to have e, we need to have the same expression as the power of e, and we need to have the same expression right here in front of this, uh, behind this e, okay? Right here and right here. Right now let's, let's try to think a little bit how can we create this type of expression, because if you look closely we don't have e, we don't have the same powers right here, and we don't have the same powers right here. So right now I'm going to do some manipulation. How can we create this the great expression for a uh, Lambert W function? First of all, let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power 8. Let's do this. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 to the power uh, 2 to the power 8. As a result, what do we have right here? We have minus x plus 8 in the beginning, minus x plus 8 times 2 to the power minus x. I'm going to write right here. And of course, we multiply it by 2 to the power 8, both sides of times 2 to the power 8 equal to 1 times 2 to the power 8. So what I did before, I just change, I just multiplied both sides by 2 to the power 8. So it changed nothing. But if you look closely, we have the same base. So we have 2 and we have 2 and we have multiplication. So we can apply um, basic math property whenever you have expression with uh, the same basis. So 8 to the power x times 8 to the power y. We can write it as 8 to the power x x plus x plus y. Okay, we can write right here instead of 2, we, uh, instead of these both expressions, we could write 2 to the power minus x plus 8. So let's do this right now. We have minus x plus 8 times 2 to the power minus x plus 8 equal to 2 to the power 8. And right now, let's look closely what do we have. We have minus x plus 8, really great. And we have the same expression right here, minus x plus 8. So step by step, we're getting closer and closer to our expression. And a lot of students may be thinking, okay, Mr. We can apply Lambert W function, but if you look closely, we have 2. But in, in general case, in, in, our, in our identity, we need, to have, we need to have e. So right now, let's try to think how can we create e instead of this, instead of this 2. Of course, we can easily do this without any problems, because instead of this 2, we can write e to the power nature log nature log 2. So instead of this 2, we're going to write this e to the power nature log 2. Let's do this right now. We have minus x plus 8 times, instead of 2, we're going to write this one e to the power nature log 2, and we're going to raise this to the power minus x minus x plus 8, and equal to 2 to the power 2 to the power 8. 
Okay, really great. And of course, right here we have E, we have it looks like the same expression, but we need to do a few manipulations. First of all, we need to raise this expression to the power minus x plus 8. For this, we need to multiply our powers. Let's do this. So we have minus x plus 8 times e to the power. Let's write this one on the first position. So minus x plus 8 on the first position. And we need to multiply it by nature log 2 times nature log 2 equal to 2 to the power uh, 2 to the power 8. Right now, if we look closely, okay, we have e, but our powers, our expression right here and right here, it's not the same, because we have minus x plus 8 right here, and it looks like we have the same expression right here, minus x plus 8, but we have nature log 2. So the final step, we need to multiply it both sides by nature log, nature log 2. When we multiply it, we will have the same the same expression on both on both sides. So we have minus x plus 8, minus x plus 8. We're going to multiply by nature log 2 right here at this place. Okay, nature log 2 times e to the power minus x plus 8 minus x plus 8 times nature log 2 equal to 2 to the power 8 times nature log nature log 2. Okay, and right now minus x plus 8 nature log 2, for example, this is our a, and of course we have the same expression right here, minus x plus 8 times nature log 2, this is also our a. So right now we can easily, real quick, we can easily apply a lambda w function because we have the same expression right here and the same expression as the power of e, we have e, we have everything is great. So right now let's apply lambda w function. So lambda w function of minus x plus 8 minus x plus 8. Uh, times nature log 2, nature log 2, times e to the power minus x plus 8, times nature log 2, and of course equal to, don't forget about right side, lambda w function of our right side, 2 to the power 8, times nature log, nature log 2. Okay, really great. Right now, as I said before, this expression, when we apply lambda w function, this expression equal all to only our a, our a in our case equal to minus x plus 8 times nature log 2. So we have minus x, we have minus x plus 8 times nature log, nature log 2. And on the right side, what do we have? We have 2 to the power 8 times nature log 2. Let's do some manipulation on the on the right side. How can we do this? First of all, 2 to the power 8, we can easily raise this. This is equal to uh, Lambert W function of 256 times nature log 2. This is our first manipulation. And the second thing, of course, we need to find our x. Uh, let's divide both sides by nature log 2. Let's divide both sides by nature log 2. As a result, what do we have? Minus x plus 8 times nature log 2 equal to this one we're going to divide by nature by uh, nature log 2 so lambda w function of 256 times nature log 2 we're going to divide right here by nature log 2 and of course we're going to divide right here by nature log 2 from here we can easily cancel it and as a result on the left side uh, we have only minus x plus 8 so we have minus x minus x plus 8 and on the right side we have lambda w function or we have this expression so lambda w function of 256 times nature log 2 over nature log over nature log 2 and the final step of course we need to um, we need to uh, subtract this expression or we need to move this x on the right side so it doesn't matter this is um, the easiest part because we can we need to find our x real quick this is up to you how can you how can you solve this question for me i just move this minus x to the right side with the positive sign and i move this expression to the left side with the negative sign so as a result our x is equal to 8 minus Lambert W function of 256 times nature log 2 over nature log over nature log 2. And maybe someone interested in approximately answer, I find this approximately answer for you. So x approximately equal to 2.468. 2.468. Four, six, eight. Right now we can see a graph. You can see this point of intersection. You can see this question like from geometric perspective. Okay, and I really hope you you understand my my explanation. I really hope you understand my solution. So don't be scared about this lambda w function of this constant. This is a constant, and of course lambda w function of a constant is also a constant. So don't be scared about this expression on the right side. You can easily plug in uh, in a, in a calculator. You can easily check it. You can easily test it. But if you mm, like don't love to use a calculator on your exam, this is everything that you need. You don't need to find a approximately value. Of course, you don't allow to use a calculator, I think, so yeah, but uh, if you do, you can easily find approximately answer, but if you not allow, you can easily leave this uh, answer like that. Everything is great for you and uh, for your teacher. So let's write our final answer to this question. 
So I have answer x equal to x equal to 8 minus Lambert W function of 256 times nature log 2. And we're going to divide it by nature log, nature log 2. Yeah, this is our answer to this question. So I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learned something new. You can also write your notes, write your, write your assumption, write your, your solution. Maybe you have another solution. Your method is faster than mine. This is really interesting to read about it, to check our answers, to check our methods in the comments below. So thank you for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself. If it's not hard to you, you can easily support me with this video with a, with a like, with a dislike. Uh, I really appreciate if every response. Maybe you have some notes, you have some prompts to this question. It's, it's really great. So thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.